Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome back to my studio which is known as the basement Dino Dungeon which we keep our dinosaur as well as our animal figurines, okay? So today we will be adding two figures to our huge collection of farm animals, domestic um, animals as well as birds, okay? So we have a new cat right here as well as a new chicken, of course, it is a hen. So we will take a look at every single figure together, okay? At the end of the video, I'm just gonna show you guys like a quick tour of my studio. This is basically where I keep my collection, okay? You know, if this is your first time here, this will be a great video for you guys, okay? So let's begin, okay? Let's go. All right, guys, so take a look at this beautiful cat. I'm not too sure what kind of um species or breed this is. Let's just call this like a tabby cat. Not too sure. I think we have a similar gray cat in our collection you know this is actually one that looks kind of similar but i'm not too sure whether they are exactly the same is it's known as a gray tabby so this could be a um, tabby cat as well yeah i'm not too sure so if you guys know like the exact breed of this cat do comment down below this one seems to be an americana chicken i think we have one which is kind of like similar Really beautiful little figure from Peppo. You can see the intricate details on this, which is really, really well done. You can actually display it like very, very nicely. Okay, we'll try to find a similar figure so that we, we can actually know like which one is which, okay? So let me just try to find that little chicken. Uh, we do have a couple of chickens in our collection, which, you know, we can take a look at later on. But first, let's have a look at this turkey. Turkey, I think this is a really beautiful turkey figure. Of course, turkeys can be found in farms. We have a huge collection of birds. This is definitely not a farm animal. It's a vulture, a beautiful vulture figurine, which, you know, is the one and only in my collection. Vulture is basically like a bird of prey, okay? Next up, we have a black sheep right here. Um, I think we have two exactly the same ones okay so we've accidentally bought the same figures so we do have a collection of sheeps we'll take a look at them later on this is a labrador i think labrador retriever um you can just call it a labrador beautiful species of um um you know dog right here i'm gonna try to put all the dogs right here so that we, we know how many dogs we actually have this is a border collie which is apparently the smartest the most intelligent breed of dogs out there. They're extremely smart, extremely athletic as well. Okay, next up, Golden Retriever, probably one of my most favorite breed of dogs. Very intelligent, very smart, very gentle. Love them to beat. And um, this is the Great Tabby. Okay, here's another one, a Tabby Cat. Um, I you can see they have the name printed wrongly. It also has Great Tabby. <laughs> Printed right below, but you can obviously see that this is um you know orange in color, but they're using the same sculpt, I would say. Okay, next are um I think let's have a comparison. I don't think they are the similar breed of uh, chickens. This is a Bantam hen. Uh, if I'm not wrong, it's like one of the smallest species of um chickens around. Okay, I'm gonna put this one right here. Um, yeah, I think let's just place the figures on the table. Let's rearrange them like nicely to see, you know, how many different, you know, different breeds and categories we, we actually have. I think that'll be interesting. The voucher, I'm gonna put it right here. Okay, right sh here we have a pig. It's a female pig, which is known as a soul. S-O-W. I'm not too sure whether I got the pronunciation right. It's, it's probably pronounced as soul or soul. All right, so... Yeah, I mean, you guys, if you know, like, the exact correct pronunciation, do let me know, okay? Okay, this is a Sharpie. Very, very beautiful um, breed of dog. You can see the skin is, like, you know, is layered. And so, like, it has many skin folds, which looks makes it look very, very unique and adorable. German Shepherd Puppy. Yes, we do have quite a number of puppies in our collection, which are absolutely adorable. This one is known as, what is this known as? Deshawn, Deshawn. Okay, I'm not too sure whether I got a pronunciation right, but I think so, Deshawn. And this, it's a Siberian Husky. Beautiful breed as well. They do 
um, you know, I always read that they are quite dramatic, they love to howl, which is kind of adorable. Next up, we have two peacocks right here. This peacock has been with me for quite a some time, many years, and um, this one was actually given and donated to me by a Den Safarian, which I'm, you know, forever grateful. So yeah, I think, you know, one Den Safarian has been sending me plenty of figures. You know, I think he's giving me like, you know, he's intending to give me his entire collection, which I'm very grateful. But at the same time, I, I told him not to because all of these figures actually cost a lot of money. So yeah, sending me drawings and letters, I am absolutely you know, delighted to be receiving them. If you guys like have drawings of animals, letters you want to send me, you can go on to the About Us tab. There's a mailing address that you can send me letters and even drawings. I'll be happy to read them uh, on the channel, okay? So make sure you do that. Boxer, beautiful boxer right here. Here with another, um, you know, I think, um, generally, you, you call them parrots, but they are actually like macaws, very beautiful macaws. We have this blue and yellow one. There is another one which is, um, you know, almost identical, I would say. Yeah, they are basically just different colors, but this, using the same um, sculpt for the body. Next up, we have a Gern's Knee Cow. Gern's Knee Cow is actually a very, very popular breed of cows because they produce lots of milk and they are very gentle natured which is similar to the hoisten cow okay we do have um i think this is a hoisten cow uh, i think this one as well so yeah hoisten cow are also very popular among dairy farmers okay let's see what else we've got we have a billy goat right here okay i'm gonna put the goats in the middle what is this? Um, this is known as a French Bulldog, or rather known as Frenchie. Frenchie for like, you know, short for short, and uh, re really like a warm name. Um, Persian Cat, Siamese Cat, I beg your pardon, I beg your pardon. So I'm gonna put all the cats right here, guys. And this is a Terrier, I think. Boston Terrier, absolutely adorable as well. We have a dog. Until now, I've still no idea like what is the exact breed or species of this dog. It's basically just known as dog. I'm pretty sure there is a different name for this. Okay, here we have a beautiful um owl. Owl. Um, where's the name? Let's um try to locate it. I think it's really really tiny. It's really small. I think it's known as the Great Horned Owl. If I'm not wrong. Okay, beautiful one as well. We have two albatross in our collection. Giant albatross. This is named as the giant albatross. And this one is known as wandering, wandering albatross. I'm not too sure wandering is just like a description or is it is that like the exact name? Like wandering means you wander around. So could it be, you know, like, you know, drinking elephant, you know, where, where the elephant was drinking the water and, you know, and the albatross was just flying about, wandering about, I'm not too sure, or could it be an exact species name for it? Yeah. Cassowary, it's basically like a living dinosaur. So I've actually seen a video of a cassowary just like growling, making noises towards some people. It was like super scary. Yeah, it looks like the cassowary, because cassowaries, they are really huge. And while they're making those kind of, you know, um, it's kind of like low grumbling kind of sound. It's, it sounded very terrifying and it sounded almost like the cassowary was about to attack the person. And you know, cassowary, the feet basically looks like dinosaur's feet, guys. Yeah, so very terrifying. I mean, same goes with ostrich. They are very strong birds, I would say. So, I mean, they can basically use their mouth to attack humans quite easily. It's kind of um, terrifying, I would say. Okay, here it's um, a stalk, I think. This is a stalk. I don't think this is a pelican. Not too sure, I, th I think so. This is a schnauzer, guys, a schnauzer. A beautiful um, species of dog as well. Okay, it, they, they are well known for their um, beard, I would say. You know, I mean, it's not technically beard, but they look like beard, okay? What is this? German Shepherd, guys. 
this is a pretty young one I would say, it's not like an adult German Shepherd because the face looks super adorable. I mean, not to say that the adult ones don't look adorable, but it looks very very young. Here we have a cow, okay, so we do have quite a, quite a number of cows right here. And what is this? A bulldog, I think. This is a bulldog. And here we have a um, Siamese cat again. So we do have quite a number of Siamese cat. Okay, is this another one? Yep. Okay, let's move on. This is a tabby cat, if I'm not wrong. Are we able to like find the name? It's so tiny. Um, I can't really see. It's so, so, so tiny. Too tiny for me to see. And this is like a collie puppy, I would say. Yep, that's right. Got that right. A piglet, absolutely ad adorable. Where did we put our little pig? I'm just gonna put it right here. Oh, this one is a cute one. <laughs> this one is a Persian cat. They are well known for being quite gentle. Yep, the face looks very flat, which is um super adorable. Jack Russell Terrier. Oh my goodness, this species or this breed of dog is actually super active. They are super fast. They can run really fast, and they have good stamina. I'd say, good is really like an understatement. This is an anhingar. Okay, it definitely looks like a bird of prey to me. Another female pig right here, guys. Another one, and this one is quite a beautiful figure. <laughs> wow, you can see. Um, yeah, I I'm not too sure what to call that, but yep, we have a golden retriever right here. Another one, this one is from Schleich, if I'm not wrong, beautiful little figure. I think it captures um, the facial expression of um, the very lovely Golden Retriever very, very well. Here we have another sheep, okay. I'm gonna put it near um, the black sheep. Let's see what else we've got. We have a Great Dane right here, alright. And here we have a Collie, beautiful Collie. Um, with a giant poodle. Yep, poodle. Let's see what else we've got. Um, Laura Kid, if I'm not wrong. Yep, Laura Kid right here. Beautiful one. Uh, let's see what else we've got. Oh, we have a chinchilla. I don't think this is supposed to be here. This is like a rodent. Uh, but I think it's okay for us to put it right here. This is a blue hyacinth. Okay, nice one. Pot ballot pig, guys. Okay, <laughs> very, very adorable. What is this? Okay, let's take a look at this. It looks like a red hawk. I uh, can't remember. Yeah, red tail hawk. Beautiful one. Um, What about this one? Peregrine falcon, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, that's right. Beautiful peregrine fal falcon. Let me just get it up. This is the um, long, wow, the falcon can stand, it keeps falling over. I think I'm just going to put it aside first. This is the um, long eared hour, long eared ear, as in, um, you know, our ears with an ED behind. Okay, beautiful one. Um, Phoenix rooster, I think. No, 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 it's not a phoenix rooster, it's just a rooster. So quite a cute one as well. Let's see what else we've got. What is this? You guys remember Kookaburra. Kookaburra, we can actually put it in, um, you know, like an Australian animals um, collection. We have a hen and a couple of chicks right here. Very, very beautiful. This, it's a bull terrier, I think. I think so. Sometimes I totally forget um, the name. And this is like a, a billy goat, a mini billy goat. This is a cockatoo. Of course, they look very similar to um, you know, like the you know the lorikeets. No, not or not not lorikeets. The macaw. Have another cow right here, which I think could be. This is. I'm not too sure. This is weird. It has horns, but it also. I'm not too sure whether it's a female or a male pig. Hungarian pig, very well known for their curly hair. I think it makes makes them look. Very, very unique, I would say. I think this is the um, Americana chicken. So, 
I was thinking this one, this two look very similar, but I'm not too sure whether they are the same one. Because I, I know that Americana chicken, they actually lay like blue eggs, which is um very, very unique. Flamingo from Schleich. We have a snowy hour. Okay. This is a pelican. Okay, just now I've shown you guys like the stock, uh, which is different from the pelican. This one seems to be, uh, what is this? Harpy Eagle. Very nice. And um, here we have another goat, Nanny Goat. Nice one. Another soul right here. A Dimension Puppy, I think. That's right. Adorable. We have uh, another pig right here. We have lots of pigs. And here's another one, which is very, very cute. Hampshire pig. Nice. Phoenix rooster with an incredible, beautiful tail. Rabbit. A brownie. Nice one. A sheep. Couple of chicks right here. And not a rabbit. Oh, yep, cute one. We have a Safari LTD Good Luck Mini. And not a goat. I think this is a. I'm not too sure. Billy goat. Ma nanny goat. Cardinal. Oops. We have a token. Token. Nice one. I can't get this cardinal to stand well. So with a donkey, this is from Schleich. It has been with me for a number of years as well. And um, Raven. Bald Eagle. Okay. Very, very beautiful. What is this? Another hen. We are down to our last few farm animal figures. This is known as the blue footed booty. So the male ones will actually walk in an exaggerated manner to capture the attention of the female booties. Yep, very, very cute. So, and this is the um. Um, calf. All right, and this is the um donkey, a baby donkey. Yeah. So basically, this is my collection of um farm animals, birds, and domestic pets. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this, and um yeah. So I hope to see you guys um soon in the next video. And don't don't hesitate to send me any mails. I'll be happy to receive them. I'll be happy to read them in my videos. And um, yeah, thanks for watching this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Okay guys, I promise a quick tour of my collection, okay? So this is basically our new shelf. So this is a new shelf where I'm putting my hand and collection figures, which I really, really treasure a lot. They are basically like premium figures from you know Jurassic World. I think they are awesome. So this space right here is dedicated to um, the hand and collection. The, this is the previous series, um, which is called the uh, Amber Collection, which is um, beautiful as well. And here are, here are my repainted dinos. Okay, and this part is basically um, my other figures. And I have some random figures right here at the top. Okay, and some of these are in... Um, the original boxes so I've placed some of them in acrylic boxes to keep them clean but of course I don't really keep a lot of them in um, the original boxes and this is basically the space where I keep all my animal figures in different drawers I we don't have the space to display them um, you know in shelves so animals are all here these are animals as well um, these are some of the eggs that I opened on our main channel. Then surprise, my collection of dinosaur masks. This is basically my 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 biggest figure. 
yeah um that's about it guys so you know maybe in our next video i'm gonna show you guys like a quick tour of the other room which is right here okay this room it's basically known as the monster island room i'll not show you guys today i'll show you guys next time okay thanks for watching this i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye